So welcome back to another edition of Off The Shelf, where each and every week we are reviewing a bunch of comics right here on YouTube. We try to keep all the reviews as spoiler free as possible and as kid friendly as possible as well. For this week, we are re uh, releasing the videos on Saturday. If you're not really familiar with the actual release dates of when I put out these videos, it usually does come out on a Friday. We are now going to start making it so that it comes out on Saturdays instead. So keep an eye out for that. All right. So with all that out of the way, let's get going with this. This review is for Batman number 19. And right off the hop, we get one of those gatefold covers. Uh, it's one of the WTF things that DC's putting out this month. Uh, and we get this thing where it says, Bruce Wayne's greatest enemy, Jim Gordon. What? Jim Gordon? Bruce Wayne? No, that doesn't seem right. So for this one, we start off right away with this nice mystery. Um, who is, like, why is Bruce Wayne doing what he's doing? Uh, you know, it's... Is not really all that hard to figure out, uh, but is it a really good story, or is it worth picking it up? Uh, for the most part, in Batman, we've had these giant overarching stories. Um, they've been amazingly executed, but for this one, we get this nice little low key. I believe this is only going to be a two story arc kind of thing. And then we're going to head into this whole zero year thing for the Batman books. So we start off with this mystery of why is Bruce doing what he's doing here. Um, again, it's not really all that hard to figure out. But we get to see, you know, Batman during this book doing some actual detective work. He's the great world's greatest detective, but for the most part, I think even since pretty much issue one of Detective Comics, we really haven't seen him, you know, use those detective skills um, all that much. And even in Batman, we've seen a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it's just him going out and, you know, beating up some bad guys. So it's really good to see him actually do some, you know, detective work. Even though they kind of give things away during this book, uh, the story is fairly well contained. Um, there's, a, there's a more than enough here that'll keep you going through the book. Um, I've been watching Greg's uh, Twitter feed for quite a while, and he's been showcasing this Bat Cycle, and I've been waiting so much to see this thing in action, and we really get to see that here, and it is well worth the wait. I really love the way that they did this you know, in the book. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited to see it uh, and see its use. Uh, there is a backup for this book and hey, it's another Batman title. Two Batmans in one book. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. This one, we get Superman in here and, you know, they go out Together, there's kind of a little bit of a team up with Batman and Superman, and uh, they go and fight something that's a little bit more supernatural realm, uh, which is a little bit different for even both of them, I would believe. So that was kind of a, a nice little take as well. Greg really knocks it out of the park here with his art. I mean, it is absolutely fantastic. I I love his his work, his characters. Everything is, you know, spot on. You know exactly who you're you're looking at and who who's who. Um, I there's no complaints here for that. Uh, the quality in the the second half is n like in the backup, not quite as good um, or mind blowing. Uh, it's still not bad, and it really suits what's going on in this book in this in the backup so I can't really complain too much about it but at the same time it's not my favorite 
but really in the end we both we we get two really good bat stories um there's not much i can complain about overall we get a, a good detective story uh right for the main story uh not really hard to kind of figure that one out uh, well before it actually happens you know before bruce wayne does or batman figures it out um the artwork is amazing for the first main section there the backup is kind of a little bit meh. uh we get the bat cycle which is awesome uh overall i'm giving this book a four out of five i really enjoyed it i thought it was well worth picking it up uh Again, it's kind of nice to see Batman scale things down a little bit. And especially just before he goes into this whole big zero year thing. So that was for Batman number 19. So I want to thank everybody out there who are watching this video. Check back. I have some more videos coming up. I'm having a hard time getting them all out at once here. So... You know, keep checking back and I'll have some more up for you. Uh, so that's it for this week. I want to thank everybody again for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.